this thick right here in a tent that is just X marks the spot. Shut up, man. What in the name is going on? <laughs> Okay, so let's try again now that the bird is finally done yapping on about who knows man. But uh, as said, welcome to yet another video here from Expedition Hawk. In today's video we will be taking a look at the Helinox chair one. So uh, follow me guys and let's take a quick look at this baby right here. Yep, this could be a very nice spot I found here. Let's check it out. This is nice. The only thing that bugs me a little here is that I can hear cars, man, from the interstate that's out there somewhere. I don't even know where it is here, but uh, I can definitely hear it. But we're gonna use this spot anyways, because this is a nice spot, regardless. So, uh, why do I love this Helinox Chair 1 as much as I do? Let's find out. And look, Mama always said, X marks the spot. So, uh, I guess this is the spot. And just to make it clear, if your girlfriend says the same, it means something else. Don't think that if she says, Come on baby, X marks the spot. Don't think you should just sit your ass down right there. She will have your head on a platter, man. That's for sure. That is one big ass mushroom right there. Jesus. Yep, you got it. As said, guys, in today's video, we will be taking a look at this Helinox chair one and why I like this particular chair so much. But first off, let me just send a big thank you for all my subscribers who keep me busy with uh, messages and requests and so on. Uh, since my last video, if you saw my last video where I went on a adventure trip with my son, um, a kayak trip, I'll put a link in the description if you haven't already seen it go check it out but since that trip I've been very busy with some stuff at the home front I've been sick and stuff like this and also some education stuff so uh, today we're definitely gonna talk about this Helinox chair one and some other chairs you might say this baby's competition some other chairs that I've been looking at also before I bought this and why I chose exactly this chair so uh, let's dive right into it guys as you see here it doesn't take up much space and as you see here it comes in this very nice stuff sack right here i think it is waterproof uh, i left it outside in the rain for one day and the chair wasn't wet but uh, i don't know if it is supposed to be waterproof or not but uh, in my case it was but when i went out to find myself a chair i looked at this one and the helinox chair too and three other chairs i believe from another brand called Robins or Robins. Actually, I don't fancy that brand too much. Sorry, Robins users, but uh, it's just my personal experience. I didn't like the brand too much, but that was with tents. Uh, so give it a try. Go look at the chairs from this company also. But I looked at the Robins Pathfinder Lite, the Observer chair and the Searcher chair. Yeah, that was the ones. And I will say the Observer chair, it was around 1295 grams not that i care too much about weight i actually don't but yeah i just didn't fancy the chair that much uh, actually for the same reason that i didn't fancy the helinox chair too very much uh, same reason 
The Helinox Chair 2, by the way, is uh, just around the same weight as this one. Uh, I think it's a little heavier. Yeah, it is, because it's 1070 grams and this is like 850 grams. But anyways, the Observer Chair and the Helinox Chair 2, it has a taller back piece. And uh, what it did for me is, and I'm not particularly broad, so yeah, I'm very broad shoulders. <sighs> I'm massive, man. No, joking aside, it, uh, you know, the shoulder piece of the chair, it was like it gave this pressure on my shoulder blades. Uh, I just didn't like the fit very much. Not for my sake, anyways. Some other people might love those chairs, but uh, for me, it was a no-go. I also looked at the Robins Pathfinder Lite, which actually is a lot like this chair in the design, but uh, it is also, it's only like 60 grams heavier than this one. But uh, as I said, it's not the weight that does it. But this chair is just better quality. And when, you know, when you put it together, as you will see in a short while here, it, it's just so easy, man. I just love it. I love the feel of the chair, everything. This is just nice. So that's why I chose this over the Robins Pathfinder Lite. And as I said, I also looked at the Robins Searcher chair. You know, it has these uh, crossed sticks for a center base and I just didn't like the way it was standing. Um, so that's why I didn't take that one. And that was also at just a little over 2000 grams. And that's just too heavy, man. Not that I care, I said too much about weight, but double the amount, more than double the amount of this one. So let's take a look at this chair. When you open the stuff sack right here, you have the chair right here. And here you have the base. This is very, very nice. Um, nice poles here and nice way of putting it together. Let me show you how easy this is. Let's just put this down here. Now, take a look at this. I just grabbed a hole of the center piece here. And now take a look. It's almost as if it's it put itself together. Just these now it's done so uh let's put the back piece on see how easy this is follow me so the back piece here it couldn't be much easier man you know you have these pole sleeves right here so you just start at the top here put this one on here this one on here and the same here it's that easy as you see this chair doesn't have a particular tall profile, but uh, it's very good. It's very good like this. I love sitting in it, just like this. And what I really love about this chair is that these corner parts up here, they don't, you know, put any pressure on my shoulder blades. That's very nice and that's very important to me because I would like to sit for hours with my binoculars, man, and look at predator birds or stuff like this so uh, it's just really nice and i actually love this the way i'm sitting here with my legs when i stretch them in particular when i stretch them i just it's just so comfy man it's simply just so comfy and it weighs like nothing this chair weighs absolutely nothing i said 850 grams that's nothing man and another great part about this chair is with this low profile right here if you like me have the Hilleberg Alloc or the Steiger tent. This one actually fits inside the abscess of the tent. Not that you want to be sitting in there, but uh, let's say it's raining as a outside. It's just nice, man, that you don't have to fold this up again and put it in the stuff sack. Just put it inside your abscess and close the abscess and you're good. Wow, I love this chair. Yeah, so this is just a nice chair. The only problem I see with this chair is that, just like me, if you're going to on a trip, like I did with my son, you're never gonna sit in it, man, because my son steals this all the time. He loves it, and that's okay. So uh, I need two of these, and I'm gonna get one more of these. The exact same model. I love it that much. And it's, it's just amazing build quality, man, if you ask me, and this is DAC aluminium poles or DAC aluminium poles if you'd like um, and you see here it has this mesh right here and mesh right here so even in hot summer days you still get some ventilation to your back and your hips so uh, yeah no ventilation here 
in the buttocks part so uh, you will have a sweaty ass if you're the kind of guy that sweats between your butt cheeks but a uh, nice chair man and this chair just has so many pros man god i love it love you baby and there uh, do i have any bald spots i'm gonna see that in the video after anyways of course it also has its cons uh a few cons no actually it only has one con in my opinion and that is the base here the poles right here in the bottom if the ground is wet and mushy you know wet mud or something it will be sinking down but uh fear no evil because helinox also made a ground sheet for this chair right here which attaches to the corner poles right here at the base and when you put it down on mushy wet ground it will not be sinking so uh that's really cool of helinox that they offer this also and helinox even offers a rocking chair bottom for this chair right here which means my friends you can't be sitting with your hood on and your sunglasses down and looking at a lady wait no that means my friends you can't be sitting in this rocking forwards and backwards while you are sipping a cup of tea and watching the beautiful sunset so that is nice too really nice um yeah so that's just nice yeah so i don't think there's more to say about this chair actually other than it's it's just a very nice chair man weighs absolutely nothing and if you want to fold the chair down again very very easy just take off the sleeve right here and what the what the hell some homeless man is just riding his bicycle right in the middle of my video what in the name is going on he must be living here in the woods how nice is that and then you just fold down these poles right here no problem whatsoever just put it down towards the base same with this one now you see this takes up almost no space whatsoever just wrap the sleeve here around it like that and put it in the stuff sack and the stuff sack has plenty of room to put it all inside here no problem perfect and just to make it clear i have no affiliation at all with helinox whatsoever i didn't get this chair for free from anyone at all and i, I didn't get part of it paid or anything i bought this with my own money and i'm also going to buy the next one with my own money because i love this chair that much so that's just me telling you what gear i love to use so uh yeah and the side note what the hell is going on over there shush the birds are crazy today and a little side note guys some of you subscribers have been messaging me asking me what my pads on my pants mean so uh let's take a look now the first one here on my thigh Paraservice is just a pad from a Danish parachute shop skydiving equipment and this one over here on my other thigh Optima LB Larsen and Bosco that is also skydiving equipment and actually so are this one right here at my ankles that is also Optima right so it's there just pads and from skydiving equipment Optima I've been buying right there through the time I've been skydiving a lot uh, a couple of years ago. I'm not skydiving currently, but a uh, nice sport, man. Nice sport. And I'm definitely gonna jump again someday. But uh, for now, I really don't have the time for it because I do so much other adventure and outdoor stuff. So yeah, no time for skydiving at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed this fairly short review of the Helinox Chair 1, guys, and the uh, amazing chair thumbs up for that one if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel like this video post me a comment if there's something you want to ask me something you want to tell me or just yeah if there's something you want to request or whatever just post me a comment man 
but uh, yeah definitely stay tuned for the upcoming videos on this channel guys the next videos here will be comfort camping comfort hiking gear you need if you want to be more comfortable on your hiking trip if you don't want to be sleeping on pads that's this thick with sleeping bags that's this thick right here in a tent that is just but weighs nothing so i'm gonna make a video about the gear i love to use and being comfortable so uh, and also i will be making a video where i will present you to a new thing that i've got i already have it but uh, i haven't made a video about it yet a new thing that uh, can also greatly expand my outdoor adventures so uh, you definitely want to see that one guys also some sea kayak video diving videos stuff like this and of course not to forget a hilleberg Alak 2 tent review because i've got some requests about doing another review of this a more detailed review so i will definitely be doing that so until next time stay safe don't get corona stuff like this and uh, enjoy life man enjoy the outdoors expedition hawk signing off